Evening, YouTubes. Well, I think I want to play some Star Sector today. I have been meaning to do this for quite a while. Considering that the content on my channel has been pretty much devoid of any new entries, I figured this would be a good way to start it. Even if I put down a single entry, just kind of uh, add something in, see what happens. So, let's go ahead and start a new game. Alright, I'm going to go and put down my name here. We are going to turn off the campaign. Uh, I'll actually... No, we're not going to turn on the campaign help. If you want to learn how to play the game, you might as well buy it, because this game is worth it. Uh, in case you didn't know, this is me, Aurora 2021. This is not my face. I think I'll be... Oh, that's kind of hard. Uh... I think I'll try being the creepy chick with the scar on her face. Alright, let's do this. Oh, iron mode, by the way, means that I cannot load previous saves. Basically, I have one save and it's it. Basically turns this into a roguelike. Yeah, fun, huh? Alright, let's see. I want to be an honest trader? Well, in my own time, I'd say sure. I mean, it's boring, but it pays. But no. Smuggler? Eh, it's basically an honest trader, but you have a chance of getting caught more tense, but still dull. Bounty Hunter. Ooh. To pick. Sizable Bounty? Eh. High-end Weaponry. Eh. Experience Crew. I think I'll go with Sizable Bounty. Having an extra cash start is always good. We are not going to have an easier start. And I will do... Manual Assignment. Alright, let's see what happens. So, we're in game. First thing I'm going to do is check the intel to see what bounties are up. Bengala, that would be Horvis here, the system I'm in. Sorry, i got something of a cold going on right now. Corvus here has the Jangala world, which is offering a 3,000 credit bounty for anything frigate size and larger. So, that's basically what I'm going to be doing as a bounty hunter, is hunting anything frigate size and larger. Uh, let's see who's wanted. Highly capable combat officer. Usually that means they've got a small fleet with them, so I'm basically going to say no to that. First things first, I'm going to see what my loadout is. Harpoon MRMs. These are good, but I think I'm going to go with salamanders because salamanders lock on to engine signatures go around behind the ship and proceed to blow up all in that ship's kill. Knocks out the engines, causes a flame out, turns them into a big free-floating hunk of metal, with weapons granted, but still free-floating, gives me a chance to get around behind and do what I need to do. <coughs> oh, boy. <coughs> oh, sorry about that. Freaking cold kicking my butt here. Got a graviton beam that's to deal with shields and for some long range firepower. Tactical lasers for when I want to get close and completely shred whoever decides to be my enemy. And we got my salamanders. Alright, looks good to go. Gotta see what the ship selection is real quick. Pretty threadbare, and I wouldn't be able to purchase any of these anyway. Except for that shuttle, but it's just like, really? <laughs> yeah, maneuvering jets, K. Okay. Small ballistic, that's gonna be a whole lot of help, sure. All right, let's see what's available. I am going to go after these guys. No, I'm not. They're going to going away, and they're moving quickly too. So, as a smuggler, I get a Wolf Class frigate as my starting ship. The Wolf Class frigate is a uh, later generation uh, ship that is capable of phasing three times to different locations. What are these guys? All right, yeah, Cerberus class combat freighters. Nasty customers, depending on what they have, but these guys are D class, which means that they should have been decommissioned a long time ago. They're basically junkers. But you know, people use junkers and demolition derbies and you see what happens to those things. My plan here is gonna be to knock out their engines with my salamanders and move in with my tactical lasers. Okay, so 
I got that. I'm gonna keep working close in and let my uh release do that work. Building up. Damn. Alright, my engine's still active, this is a good thing. Then fix her some salvage. I'll take all I can sell what I get. Yeah, the pirates are already mad at me while well, I just made them furious. They don't like me right now. And I got a 6,000 credit bounty. Money. Oh. ISS Unnefer? Really? No, we're not doing that. Fix up my ship. Some trading. Right, that, that, uh, not them. That, that, that. Done. And I got 12,000 credits and I do have some character points, so I'm gonna spend those on something. Seems like a good idea to start spending this on technology. Uh, yeah, this basically makes ships go faster. Ordnance points. Yeah, ordinance points are basically uh, this is how much stuff you can mount on your ship. But I'm going to go with armor, because the ship I have right now, while it's advanced, it's kind of fragile. Let's see what ships are available still. Still nothing I really want to get. I am not getting a decommissioned combat freighter. Alright, let's see what there is to kill. I am not killing that thing. That's a, that's a pirate armada. I don't want to mess with that. See what else is here. Down here yonder, we got something. Yeah, no, they got a pair of destroyers, got a lash class frigate, and a decommissioned wolf in that fleet. We don't want to bother with that. So if you'll notice, down here at the uh, bottom left here, the burn level used to be seven. Now it's eight. That's because I upgraded my technological level so that my uh, frigate class ships can move faster. A destroyer, it would move one faster as well when I upgrade the level to the next uh, next stage. Now the food shortage at the Ragnar complex; these can pay a lot of money, even if you don't complete the entire uh, food shortage mission. Just taking a little bit there can net you easily 26 can credits. It's very profitable if you're a trader. So it's not very dangerous. Yeah, okay, these guys are pissed off at me. Big surprise. That guy just went smuggler. I don't want to hit him because he's technically an independent now. You do not want to piss off independents. They are everywhere. Mercenaries count as independents, and mercenaries run around in these big old fleets that will mess you up if given the chance. Unless, of course, you have a bigger fleet than them, but, I mean... Is, it, is this really a bigger fleet? No. Alright, we got another pirate up here. I'll buy his lonesome. Let's see what we can do with him. Ignoring that fleet, of course. Oh, those guys look like something I want to kill. Yeah, let's do this. It's a bit risky. They do have a wolf-class frigate and a lasher. Uh, the lasher is a shotgun frigate, though. It's like calm. The wolf is definitely a hit-and-run boon zoom. There we go. See, the salamanders are actually pretty fast. But the, I just can't just get attention to flame out. And the wolf is neutralized. Couldn't have asked for a more textbook maneuver to kill that thing. Kill his engine, move around behind him, finish him off. Now we gotta deal with this guy. Looks like his armor consists of a couple single tube uh, harpoon MRMs. He's got light auto cannons, a bunch of machine guns. He can hurt, but he's not quite as well armed as me. So we'll do this. Launch off a couple salamanders, let them move around behind. 
totally missed naturally. I'll launch off one more. Ah, of course that would happen. Alright, time to retreat. Dump my flux. Alright, let's do this. Now, quick note. I am locked onto this guy right now. If I phase towards him and phase behind him, my ship will phase facing, or uh, uh, come out of phase facing towards him. So, let's see what happens. my flux there. That's a shame on me. But he's got a flame out and most of his weapons are offline. I got the advantage. Alright, yeah, I could have handled that a lot better, but I still won, so are we really... Are we really gonna just nitpick at that? No, we're not. We're Bounty Hunters. Uh, Alright, we're going to take everything and then we're going to get the hell out of Dodge before that big bastard down there comes after us. We're going to ignore those guys down below. I wish we could go after that scout, but I don't want to go after him in the state we're in. Oh look, more character points. Let's go ahead and get this done. Let's see. I'm going to do... So I'm going to dump some points into my missile specialization. I like these salamanders, but they need a tighter turn radius if they're going to catch the enemy ship's engines. You'll notice I'm selling weapons. Um, I do this because they take up space, and I just prefer not to have them on board unless I need them. Refitting a ship while you're out in space reduces its combat readiness, uh, understandably so. Uh, I, I just, I really prefer not to refit a ship in space unless I absolutely have to, so I usually just sell the weapons I have in my cargo hold. Plus, it's a little bit of chump change. So now I got 21k in credits. I'm, I'm pretty well off. Let's see what ships are available. A uh, whole lot of nothing. The Shepard here has a bunch of modified harm, uh, mining drones, but I don't care about that. Black Market. Oh, that's interesting. A light carrier. I try to stay away from these guys. They're missile heavy, but they're one trick ponies, as is even said in their description. And their shield generator is kind of bad. Let's just put it that way. I am not getting these guys. They are decommissioned again, or what should I say? Damaged or defective. I'm just going to call it decommissioned since it basically means the same thing. Uh, let's see. The Condor, though, I could get this guy. It has a, me a medium missile rack, and that means uh, Pylum LRMs, which are awesome. They have ammo, they have reloads, and they're long range. So what I'm going to do... I'm not going to buy this guy just yet, because I'm also going to need to buy Strike Craft. Now, those Gladiuses would work, but let me look at that price tag. <laughs> I don't have the money to purchase those guys and refit my carrier. Alright, so let's go kill more pirates. Alright, all of them are heading away at the moment, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head this way, around north. Try not to get in their way. Just basically sit in the asteroid belt and wait for some poor pirate smuggler to show up so I can beat his face in. Got some smugglers around here, inevitably pirates. I'm going to keep well clear of those guys. Oh, I like the look of this guy. Let's go for him. Pirate Scout. Too bad I'm faster. Yeah, he's running now. Oh, pursuing me. Okay, he wants to be that way. Fine. I'll oblige. Alright, let's see how this goes. Salamander's armed. Let's move on in. See what we can't do damage to. Alright, the Hound. These suckers are evil. They got burn engines, and they are fast. They've also got that uh, assault chain gun you see on the nose there. They can hurt. 
I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna try and take him out first. There we go, I caused a burnout. Win. I got him. some shit. Should have known. The AI in this game is actually pretty freaking smart. I finally got the town right where I want. Some flux. Lashers are nasty customers, as you can see, but he just launched both of his harpoon. And I fortunately still got most of my armor coverage on my right-hand side. Got a Serac here with two salamanders left in it. I am going to fire them both off. Here we go. Alright. Come on, you big bastard. Yeah, that's right. Right up the bump. Oh, that's the shit. I keep mismanaging my flux. This ship does not have very large capacitors. Get it? Flux capacitors? Yeah, yeah. Alright, here we go. I'm just getting him from afar with my grav beam and hopefully knock out his uh, shields. This is probably the most irritating thing in the game when you have a ship that cannot outrange what the enemy is hitting you with. levels are maxed out to where they're uh, popping the shields on and off like that. Move in and let your beams deal with them. They can't fire back without risking an overload. They're basically damned if they do, damned if they don't. Alright, I'm not going to bother with the boarding task force because one, I don't have marines, and two, there's a pretty good chance the ship could blow up and then kill me, which I really don't want to do. So I'm just going to tell my ships to shoot at it. Naturally, they take it out rather than completely destroy it. And I get salvage. Good win. All them bounty payments. Alright, let's see how much money I've got now. I might be able to get a condor. Fortunately, I'm already repaired. That's thanks to some very good crew. Alright, I got 30k in credits. I'm gonna go and buy myself a condor. Screw under strength, you say. Figured the blast doors to keep that from happening. Alright. First things first, I want to get my condor. Yeah, I'm down the 10k. Gladiuses are still a bit too expensive, but I do have some long range firepower now. This is good. Go ahead and get that condor refitted with what I want. Vulcan cannons are awesome. They are fantastic weapons. And there's the pylum launcher. These things are glorious. Oh, hold on. If I'm gonna get anything for this thing, it's gonna be blast doors. They take up uh, pretty much all of my ordnance points, but they're worth it. Um, let me show you what I mean. The Blast Doors uh, feature installs hermetic and heavily reinforced doors at critical junctures throughout the ship. Well, this basically increases hull integrity by 20%, huge by the way, and reduces crew casualties by 50%. Crew can cost you a lot of money when you really don't need them to, so this is good. Alright, we got myself a Condor-like carrier. These guys are pretty good. Uh, they got fast missile racks, so this thing can go basically full auto when it needs to. I am good with this. Uh, now I just need to get some crew so that they uh, 
are capable of fighting at full capacity. Now I only need 80 crew, so... Nope, that's too much. Eighty-six out of eighty. I call that a win. All right, we're good to go. No, nope, wait. We need more supplies too. As much as we can pack on this thing. All right, we got a second ship. The bounty fleet is about ready to get going. Good. All right, we're gonna go intercept this other guy here. Now, unfortunately, the carriers reduced my burn level by quite a bit, but. I spy a flea here that's traveling a bit slow. I'll be able to deal with the decommissioned wolf in this fleet while the carrier can go ahead and keep pummeling that destroyer you see there in the fleet from afar. Basically, I get to deal with the wolf, and later on I did I also deal with a very much softened up enforcer class destroyer. What this means is that this is gonna be a good payday if this goes well. Oh, naturally, my supplies. Go freaking figure. Yeah, the Condor can suck up supplies pretty bad. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I lost some combat readiness. Come on. Come on. Done. And here we go. Okay. So I don't really know where these guys are, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let my carrier move on his own. I'm going to go hunting for that uh, wolf class. We got the devil, wolf class is on the right hand side. He's sticking close to that enforcer though. I'm going to tell my carrier to hit that enfo uh, enforcer. Go after the wolf. Flame out on the wolf. This is good. Let's finish him off. Beautiful. All right, this, that's that's all good. Now we just got to deal with this enforcer. I see salamanders out. Trying to do a charge. Oh, I mean, a mad dog. And we're just gonna hit him at range with this graviton beam, and here we go. Hit some flux real quick, hit back at him. we go, we got an overload, where we win. Just gonna walk my beans all over them, make sure it stays flamed out. Ah, damn it. Got an overload myself. Gotta vent this. He's not very well armed, but uh, we got him in the bag. He's gonna peck at him from afar with his graviton beam. Here we go. Ah, 
means just need to get some new supplies. All right then. I'm just gonna tell them to engage. Yeah, they didn't kill it, thank goodness. Okay, good, I got some supplies here, fantastic. I need to get back to civilization and get for pairs. I also need supplies. What pay did I get for that destroyer? Ooh, oh, 27K, oh, I am happy with that. All right then. I'm gonna go ahead and hit up this technology again, get some faster speed going, more armor. All right. Um, okay, burn levels at five. Gotta work with it. And I'm out of supplies again. I should be able to make it back. Should. I took a bit of a risk coming out here with this little supplies. What the hell are you doing? Uh, with not enough supplies, but the bounty was worth it, honestly. Definitely worth it. I can get all the supplies I need now. Oof, freaking cough. All right, here we go. Yeah, I lost some combat. Readiness, but all good. Because now we got supplies. Got some repairs, too. All right. Some repairs. Naturally, I need to get more supplies. game is not easy on your requirements for supplies. Alright, well, if you guys enjoyed this, uh, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm not even going to ask for like, comment, or subscribe, I'm going to let you guys do that yourselves. Until next time.